So in the video before this, we looked at how I modeled some of these props that I'm going to be using in my sandbox game mode. And here on the screen, you can see the painted versions of some of the uh, wooden planks that I made. So we're going to look at the process I used to go through and create these planks. First of all, shading these base uh, planks because they need to have some variety in the color. Otherwise, it'll just look really flat and ugly. Putting in some uh, dark, some lighter color. Once I've done that, I'm adding in some wooden grain. Um, this will go all along the piece of the wood, and I'm actually going to have this in all of the planks uh, as a way of making it look pretty. So once I add the grain, I have to shade it and make it pretty dark. Just for the stylized effect. Next, I'm putting in a little wooden knot in the middle, connecting some of these grains together, shading them darker. Nothing too complicated yet. Now I'm adding in just another sort of blemish on the piece of wood, uh, a line going across, and then I'm going to color it right below, as you can see now. I don't know what that's called, but it looks cool. Uh, next, we need some shading. So I'm taking my marker here and adding in some white color. This accentuates the grain a little bit more, gives it sort of like a shadow, uh, a bit more of like a deeper curve. Looks nice. Another wooden knot here at the bottom. And once I've gotten all that done, I'm going to the sides to do the same, because if these are if these are going to be props, like in Gary's mod, you can rotate the props, you can see every different angle of it. So I need every side of this to be looking quite nice. The exact same process, putting in lines, then adding in the little shading underneath, the white shading. Now I'm going to the end of the wood here and adding in uh, a little bit of grain. These lines, they look nice at the end of a piece of wood. Not too thick, the lines, but uh, once I have them added, I use the white as usual and give it a little bit of nicer shading. And here, really quickly, I just added in a few lightly colored lines to give it a more natural appearance. My recording had some problems here, but all I did that you missed was I, I added in some lighter coloring on the edges. So here, I'm shading it smooth, makes it look a little prettier. And then I'm going into material, or I'm sorry, rendered view mode. So once it's rendered, it'll look something like this. Except there's one more thing to add. I'm adding something called a bump node and a normal map. So what this does is it takes the colors of the uh, painting that I made and it indents where the color is very black and it raises the spots where the color is very light. So this gives it a sort of material like it as if it has far more polygons or vertices than it really does. Here you can see me just messing with it a little bit, trying to figure out how exactly I want my plank to look. And once I have the the version I like, I, I, I'm going to take that number preset and add it into all these other planks that I'm making as well. So we're going to go through this quickly. I'm just shading all of these planks again in the same style as before. Some of them are a bit misshapen. Some of them are normal. Some of them are smaller. This should have a, or it should allow for a pretty good variety once I'm in the game mode. Next, the grain, of course. I'm very specific when it comes to this grain. I'm actually cutting out at least two hours of me making these wooden planks just because uh, perfectionism, I suppose. <laughs> There will be times where you can see me delete the work I made and just keep repainting the same line over and over. It's a habit I need to break, I think. Moving on to these little tiny pieces of wood. I actually ended up liking those probably the most out of any of them. Adding in the grain at the end of the wood again and on the sides as well. 
I'm doing this all at the same time. That way I don't have to keep changing my my markers going from one piece to the other. I can just paint them all. One step at a time. Once all that grain is added, I'm going to the sides, making sure that everything is uh, colored appropriately, colored dark enough, given some good different versions. And then moving in, of course, to the white other shading. Now you'll notice the color of the wood itself has actually changed a little bit here. And that's just because now I'm in material uh, view mode. Basically, it'll, it's showing me what the material will look like once it's rendered. And then I switch back. So when you see me switch the color of the wood like that, because I'm switching view modes. These white lines are really important. Um, at least me, I, I notice quite a bit once these lines are added. It's very obvious that the shading is better. And here you can see me talk, or doing that process I was talking about earlier where I shade the ends of the wood. Once it's rendered with that node and bump map editor like I was talking about, this is going to be really pretty looking. Just shading in all the edges here. Nothing too crazy. Then once all the edges are shaded, I shade smooth all these planks, put them together so I can get a nice look at them and take a good screenshot. But of course, before I do that, we have to do the node editor like I talked about. So I'm copying the editor from the uh, first plank I made, which I used as a reference for the rest of these, um, <clears throat> and then pasting them in. Really quick, really simple, and we end up with this final product that I showed you at the beginning. So there's our wooden planks, and you're going to see them in the game mode quite soon. I'll show you the process of porting them over after I finish painting the rest of my models. Thanks for watching.